So today, I completed all the Fossil Island exhibits. That's a total of 180 individual fossils collected. Here's some further proof that it did in fact complete all the fossil exhibits. The kudos checker on the ground floor shows them all crossed out, so that means I'm good to go. The reason I'm making this video is because I was reading up on a recent dev blog about upcoming Fossil Island improvements. The link's in the description if you would also like to read it. Anyway, this dev blog states that only 20% of players who have completed Bone Voyage, that's the quest to access Fossil Island, have built at least one fossil case. And even crazier than that, 18% of people who did build the entire camp still did not collect the free fossils from Pete, which is just enough fossils for a free display case. I mean, I don't know, that just kind of seems insane to me that all these players are missing out on free XP lamps from building these display cases. If you were to build all the cases, you would gain 120,000 free experience in any skill. Let me give you some perspective on this. From level 28 runecrafting, I jumped to level 51 runecrafting. That's 23 levels just from completing this floor. If you're a scaler, this would probably be pretty awesome for you, so you can level up skills that you don't have easy access to, like Slayer. Besides the XP lamps, for every display case you complete, you also gain two Varrock Museum Kudos. If you have at least 180 Kudos, you're fine. You can access the Volcanic Mine and everything on Fossil Island. For now. Jagex also hinted at a demi-boss requiring spare fossils, just like how Scottazor requires totem pieces. I'm pretty sure this new boss is going to require those rare fossils we have no use for. Who knows? Maybe this boss might take something like maximum kudos to access. If not this boss, then probably some other high level content. I mean, why else would they have set the maximum kudos to 225 when you really only need 180 kudos to access everything? So I'm encouraging you. If you do have some fossils in your bank or wherever you might have them, just go out and build these display cases. They're easy XP and easy kudos too. And to complete these display cases, it took me around 60 hours in combined activities around Fossil Island to finish all of them off. So let me just give you a quick breakdown of everything I did to gain these fossils and about how long it took me. 15 hours of cutting Celia set mushrooms got me around 200 fossils. So if you're looking just to get fossils, there is absolutely no better method than this. I mean, it's so overpowered, I'm just surprised it hasn't been nerfed yet. In 10 hours of the underwater agility arena, I gained 56 fossils. It's kind of a tedious minigame, and I would really only recommend doing this if you wanted an alternate to train thieving. From 4 hours of the volcanic mine, I gained 19 fossils. It's semi-decent mining experience, but the minigame does need quite a bit of rework. 9 hours or 500 kills from Talon Wyverns got me 30 fossils, while 22 hours or 500 kills of Ancient Wyverns also got me 30 fossils. As far as I can tell, the drop rate of fossils is the same for all living wyverns. So killing wyverns isn't an efficient way to get fossils, but they're way more profitable than any other method I've tried. I've also made loot videos on every one of these, and I went ahead and put the links in the description if you'd like to watch them for further information. Now something else I wanted to talk about was the extra fossils I've obtained during completing the exhibits. Because fossils are broken down into four sizes, small, medium, large, and rare. Sure, I may have gotten enough small fossils to make all the small exhibits within 30 hours, but I only finished a fraction of the large fossils. And when I finally finished off all the large exhibits, I had a massive surplus of all of these small, medium, and rare fossils lying around. An exact total of 134 extra fossils. What I could do with these is throw them in a mycelium pool and then put them in a strange machine to gain some extra prayer experience. But think about it, if I did that to all these fossils, I would only gain around 24,000 prayer experience, or 230,000 GP worth of dragon bones. So I think I'm just gonna keep them. Not only because that's a pretty bad amount of prayer experience, but instead, as I previously mentioned, the Fossil Island Demi Boss will probably require these fossils. Maybe only the rare fossils, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, I will happily answer them down in the comments below. And besides that, thank for watching.